CPA evolution in the 2024. There are various myths, various discussions that are happening around the world with regards to what is really changing over here or how this is really impacting the student. To really know as to what is really changing in US CPA, what is the CPA evolution all about. Sir, we are really, really crazy to know this, sir. Sir, please help us out, sir. I'm coming on, my friend. I'm not going to be losing enough for leaving you just like that. All right. License is the same. CPA qualification is the same that is not going to be changing. There is a fresh window that is being available to all the candidates to clear the remaining exams from 1st January onward. Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Pankaj Chingra and as you all know me by now, I am a proud Fintrammer. Welcome. Welcome friends, welcome to the CPA evolution session for 2024. Many of you whosoever is pursuing or thinking about pursuing US CPA now, right now at this point in time, is in worry, is in contemplation as to what is really going to be happening in 2024 with regards to the US CPA as a qualification and what should I be doing at this point in time, how should I be preparing and so on and so forth. That is the reason my friend, we as Fintram Global, we are here to help you in terms of you know what is really that you really need to know from the CPA evolution standpoint. That is the reason my friend, I just thought to be here to really discuss on the important topic, really discuss on the topic of CPA evolution in the 2024. There are various myths, various discussions that are happening around the world with regards to what is really changing over here and of course how this is really impacting the student. So it is all the more reason for us to be here and really talk through in terms of you know what you should be aware of, what you should be really concentrating on and how you should be seeing this change and of course working this, you know, this change in your preparation and of course we as Printram is anyway there to help you in your CPA journey to really deal with any of the nuance that really come your way in 2024. Should we go and see what is in the store today? Yes, sir. Coming on to, you know, why and how this US CPA evolution is happening. We just wanted to give you some color. Again, I'm just, I just don't want to get into the nitty gritties of it, but I still wanted at least for you to know and understand as to what is really happening or what happened, you know, which has led to this change. As we all know, you know, US CPA is a qualification is the one that is very industry relevant. The content that you learn in US CPA and I being a qualified US CPA, all I can tell you is that this has really helped me in my journey in various corporates. I worked with Wipro, I worked with BlackRock, I worked with BCG, you know, that this qualification has really helped me, you know, uh, not only to do well in the organization, but also to contribute to the organization in a much better way. Because what we learn over here is very practical oriented content and that's what really makes this evolution really come your way because they want this qualification to stay relevant not only from the current standpoint but also from the futuristic standpoint and that is the reason they're really making some tweaks and changes in the qualification and that is what you should be knowing if you're aspiring to be the US CPA. Now what AICPA did was AICPA did a two-year practice analysis kind of a thing wherein an exposure draft came up last year that really spoke on the US CPA evolution as to what is really going to be changing and what should be changing and what is the reason for it. Now this uh, effectively turned out into a final blueprint that came up on the 4th January 2023 which more or less, more or less accepted everything that was there in the exposure draft. And that's how these things that we'll be talking now as we go forward, you know, they have resulted into in terms of, you know, things that we really need to know. Leading to the CP evolution, of course, this led to the evolution, which is to start from 1st January 2023. First, sorry, 1st January 2024. You really need to know this. You really need to know that, you know, this is something that is coming your way as you may go forward. All right, coming on to the current exams. I really want to, want to take a step back and tell you what is really there in US CPA right now. And these are the four exams I also gave when I did my US CPA 20 years back, almost 20 years back. And these are the subjects that were there even that point in time. We have BEC, that is Business Environment and Concept, which is nothing but the combination of the, I would say, the business leadership related areas. They have coupled it up with various costing and financial management pieces. And of course, added a layer of technology onto it. 
So BC as a subject, you know, is a very versatile subject, which is very relevant from the modern era industry standpoint, which really helps you know various practical context that you may have to deal with when you will step into any company. So one is BC. All right. Then you have the financial accounting and reporting as an exam, which is nothing but the normal accounting and reporting exam. The only thing that really changes over here is that it is totally dependent on US GAAP. It is no more Indian, Indian GAAP. It is no more an IFRS. It is a US GAAP exam. US CPA being a US based qualification, it really wants you to really be excel and be perfect on the US GAAP. And that's what we really need to know from the financial accounting and reporting standpoint. There are various US GAAP sections that you would be applying if you are working in a US GAAP, you know, in a US corporation. There are various US GAAP that you would be applying, be it on the expense side of it or be it on the revenue side of it. And of course, you know, being part of various US organizations, I used to deal with US GAAP compliances of those organizations. And I know that the qualification like this or the content like this really helps you in terms of contributing to the organization in the best possible way. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Coming on to the audit. Who doesn't know audit, sir? Sir, we know that, sir. Audit is a very basic subject, sir. I know, my friend. But the only changes that really happens over here is that we will not be telling you about the Indian auditing standards. We will be telling you about the generally accepted auditing standards that are prevalent in US. So you really need to know what really happens in US from the standpoint of the audit. What kind of standards you need to know? What kind of standards you need to implement? What kind of things that you really need to do from the standpoint of auditing different different entities? what kind of reports are there and so on and so forth that's what we'll be covering in the audit exam and that's what this audit exam is all about I'm just trying to give you some color my friend and this is more or less a, a orientation session that we do with all our CPA students who really enroll with us it is more to give you a color my friend that this is how the US exams really looks like is that clear? Yes, sir. Coming on to the regulation. Who wants to become a qualified accountant without knowing taxes? You have to know the tax, my friend, in order to really be a good and a strong professional accountant of any country, any company for that matter. And that's what regulation really makes you out to be. We want you to excel in the US taxes. And that's what we cover in the regulation. We really tell you how individual gets taxed in the US, how a corporation gets taxed in the US, what kind of different residential statuses that we have in US, what kind of entities are there in US, what all are the tax structures there, what kind of tax returns are there, and so on and so forth. All of that we will very well cover in the regulation. And that's what this four subject is all about. These are the four subjects, my friend, that are you really need to give exam for when you're pursuing US CPA till date and of course till the end of this year. Important piece is that these are the four exams which anyone and everyone has to give irrespective of which background you're coming from. US CPA has no, no variations. You have to give this four exam to qualify as US CPA. Is that clear? Yes, sir. All right. Moving on, my friend, I have another slide coming on, which is going to be the most relevant for you, which I'm sure would, you would be very much interested in to really know as to what is really changing in US CPA. What is the CPA evolution all about? Sir, we are really, really crazy to know this, sir. So please help us out, sir. I'm coming on, my friend. I'm not going to be losing and I'm for leaving you just like that. All right. Coming on to what is US CPA evolution. What they have done is that now they would have three core exams and then they would have three discipline exams so right now you needed to clear four exams going forward also you would need to clear four exams only the only thing that has happened is that now you have three core exams which is nothing but the audit regulation and far one exam what was that that is not here now sir bc used to be there sir now it is not there from 1st january 2024 you are bang on my friend you are absolutely right it is not there because now you would have three other discipline exam out of which you have to select one. So effectively, BEC goes for a toss. BEC really went for a change. But audit, regulation and financial stays there. It stays there. What has gone off is the BEC. And there are three discipline exams that have been introduced. Number one, the ISC, Information System and Control Exam. Alrighty, I hear that, sir. The second one, bar, that is the business analysis and reporting. It is nothing but a content of financial accounting and reporting, right? We have it right now. They have taken few things from far and they have made bar out of it. 
Got it, sir? Understanding that, sir. And then what? Then you have TCP, tax, compliance and planning. Again, they have taken some stuff from the regulation, advanced stuff from the regulation and they have made TCP out of it. So you have three subjects, my friend. You have ISC, you have BAR and you have TCP as three discipline exam out of which you have to choose one. Give that and move on. Give that and move on. There are many times, you know, I, I get to hear from many of the students, sir, that do we have to follow any sequence, sir? No, there is no sequence. You can choose any exam and move on. There is no need to choose any sequence. Sir, can I give discipline first and core, you know, later on? Absolutely fine. Can I give core first, then the discipline? Absolutely fine. Sir, if I fail, oh, God forbid, it should not happen. If I fail in one discipline, can I choose another discipline and I not give the other one? Absolutely fine. They gives you all the flexibility you need and you can move on. Sir, does that mean that information system and control or bar or TCP, I have to choose one and so I'll be specialist in that field? You know, sort of, yes. You can choose what you like, give the exam and start working in that field. But as far as the licensing or the recognition is concerned, you give any exam, license is the same. License is the same, CPA qualification is the same. That is not going to be changing. Is that clear? Does this slide really helps you at least to understand what is really happening in the CPA world? Absolutely, sir. It really clearly clarifies, sir. We are really getting the perspective as to what this is. No need to worry, my friend. There is nothing majorly coming your way. What they've done is that in the, of course, ISC or BAR, they have really given some of the content of the current BC. And of course, they have shifted some content into the audit. And we'll, of course, we'll see it, you know, as we go forward, you know, in some of the slides. I'll show you in terms of, you know, what they have done with the current BEC. They're testing the entire content, but in a different way. So don't worry on that. That is something that you really need to know. All right. Some changes that I really need to talk on the core exam. What I've done is that in the current audit, they have added few of the concept from the BEC, specifically of the, con you know, concepts that we used to do, you know, even right now, which are of the IT concept that are related to audit. They have taken it up and added into the audit. That is the change in audit. Is that something to be worried about? Absolutely not, sir. Is that something major? Absolutely not, sir. Pretty clear, sir. No problem. Coming on to the FAR. FAR is a classical exam, sir. We know that, sir. What has happened in FAR? Of course, you saw that, right? They have taken few things out and, of course, made BAR. They have taken the advanced things out of the FAR and they have made BAR out of it. Yes, sir. But there are few things that are there in BEC that can be part of financial accounting and reporting. So they have taken it up from that BC and add it up to FAR. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Regulation, what have they done? Nothing. They have taken few of the concept from the regulation and they have made it to be a TCP. And that is the only change, my friend, they have done to the core exam. There is nothing else. You should not be worried about everything and everything that may, that may really come your way. Is something that FinTram will manage. We will manage the entire transition, my friend, of yourself from the year 2023 to the 2024 in the best possible way. Should you be worried about that? Absolutely not. Should we go ahead? Yes, sir. Moving on, my friend, components of the discipline exam. I really want to tell you as to what the discipline exam is. For example, ISC, the information system and control. That is the exam. What is that? Sir, it is the current BEC, sir. Sir, it is the current BEC exam. Plus, they have added few IT concepts like the cyber securities of the world, the confidentiality of the world, the cyber attacks, the controls, and so on and so forth. So, they've really, they've really added few of the things onto it. But broadly, I say is nothing but the current BEC exam added up a layer of the, of the IT. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Coming onto the bar, you know, which is business analysis and reporting exam. We know that, sir, that is the... That is the advanced content of the FAR exam, sir. Plus, they have really taken up some of the components of BC, sir. So, we've got it, sir. We have understood, sir. I'm loving you, my friend, for that. Because that is what I explained. If, it's there, if this is really sticking on to you, I'm loving you for that. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Coming on to the tax, compliance, and planning. The TCP. Tax, compliance, and planning. The TCP. It's going to be what? Now, the most advanced version of regulation exam has been taken up and they have formed the subject called TCP. So if you really want to work in tax and of course go into the tax, maybe tax from the discipline side, you can take the TCP. If you really want to go on the and hit, of course, the, the accounting and reporting side of it, you can just take the bar. Or if you really want to go on the information system side, the security, the cyber security, or the, the, the tech finance kind of a thing, then you, of course you can take ISC and move on. 
depending on what you like, what you want to head on to, take that and move on. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Is that something to be worried about? No, sir. Absolutely not, sir. Now, some of the key points for the exam I really wanted to highlight over here so that it is something that really sticks on to you and you're not missing on to that. There is no more BC now. We know that, sir. We have understood that. From the 1st January 2024 onwards, there would not be any BEC exam. We know that, sir. Still, you need to score 75 marks or more. 75 is the percentage to clear the clear the CP exam that is going to be staying there. Got it, sir? Any exam can be chosen in any sequence. We covered that. There is no sequence on the core, on the discipline. Nothing, nothing to be worried about. Got it, sir? If you fail in one discipline exam, you can choose another one. That is not an issue over here. Any order to core any order to discipline between the core and discipline can be any order and vice versa too no issues at all these are the questions that we get to hear day in and day out so we just try to answer that over here only one discipline exam is needed note that only one discipline exam is needed bar or tcp or it you can give one discipline exam you don't have to give more than that just clear one and go ahead sir what would happen sir what would happen if i cleared bc this time and my other threes, threes are left. Do I really need to give any other discipline exam then? Nope. If you have cleared the BEC, then you only have to clear the other three core exam and move on. That is one of the reasons, my friend, we at FinTram, we are really, really pushing all our students to clear the BEC exam in this year. We are really working very hard with them to, of course, ensure and, of course, help them clear the BEC exam so that they don't have to be worried about the three new exams that are coming up. And of course, they can give the core exams later on, wherein we have the least amount of changes and they can just give those exams and move on. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now, after the first exam, remaining are to be cleared in 18 months. It is still there. You have to clear all the remaining exams in 30 months. It is still there. You have to clear all the remaining exams in 18 months. It is still there. You have to clear all the remaining exams from the day you are clear for the first exam. You have to clear all other exams in 18 months. You have to have to know this. Please do not forget that. The same CPL essence for all the discipline exam. There is no change. As I said, nothing changes for you. Only the, the thing is that, you know, you are giving a different exam and that is what is it is. Is that clear? Yes, sir. All righty. Now, some key dates. You know, I just wanted to highlight some key dates onto yourself just to make sure that at least that you're aware of, you know, these dates and somewhere it may get, you know, it may impact you. Remember, the last day, the last day of filing the BC application the, the business environment and concept application for giving the exam with the NASBA is November 15, 2023. So you can appear for the exam till, of course, you know, till the end of December. But for doing that, you have to file the application by November 15th because from the November 22nd onwards, NASBA will start processing the application for the three discipline exams. No more booking of BEC will happen after that. For booking the BEC exam, you have to have to apply till November 15th. Got it, sir. December 15, 2023 is the last date to sit for the CPA exam in 2023. So December till December 15, you'll be sitting for the CPA exam in the year 2023 for BC, FAR, Reg and Audit for all four exams. Do not miss on these dates. Testing will not start from January 10, 2024. So effectively, there is no testing happening from 16th of December till 9th of January. The testing will start from 10th January onwards. Do not, do not, sorry, 11th January onwards, do not forget that. Discipline exams, the bar, TCP and IC will only be available for the first month of each calendar quarter. So do not forget this, very important. Unlike the other exams of CPA, what you're really used to right now, you can give any exam, any point in time, you can just prepare and sit and go on. The discipline exam would be given in the first month of every quarter. Like we have January, then we have the April, then we have the July, and then we have the October. So first month of every quarter is the one wherein you would be available and eligible. And of course, the exams would be there for you as far as the discipline exams are concerned. Core exams can be given any, any point in time. In 2024, exam results also will take a little longer. Of course, it's a transition that is happening. So there would be some bit of delay in terms of giving the results. But else than that, everything is fine for you. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Is that helpful? Yes, sir. Very really helpful, sir. It is really removing all our doubts, sir. If you have any doubt, if you have any anything to be 
to you know for me to answer just put that in the in the comment section just put that in the chat box we'll be happy to take this up we'll be happy to answer that all right moving on my friend we have the transition provision on this something again my friend you should know you should certainly certainly understand that AICP and NASBA recommend each jurisdiction to adopt the extension policy of 18 months. Now, what does that mean? Any candidate with a uniform CPA credit as of 1st January 2024 will have such credit extended to 30th June 2025. So effectively, my friend, <coughs> if you have cleared one or two exams from now till 31st or, you know, you have cleared one or two exams by now and till 31st of December, you have not cleared the other two you would have 18 months of fresh window being available to you from 1st January 2024 to clear the remaining exams. They have given the 18 months fresh window from 1st January 2024 to all of you to clear your remaining exams. That is the transition provision and that is really helpful to the students. Please do take the benefit of it. Clear as many exams as possible in this year. You would get 18 fresh months from 1st January 2024 to clear the remaining exams. Clear it, clear it with us and just Get it going. We are there to help you in the best possible way. Because CPA bole to fin trap. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now that's what I really wanted to cover, my friend, over here. That's what I really wanted to have a discussion on with you. I really wanted to open up my heart in terms of changes that are really coming up in the CPA world. Because you really need to know we as CPA should be informing, and of course, be. We should be the lighthouse for all of you to really tell you as to what is really happening on this side of the table, just to make sure that you know, you can understand, of course, and you can really plan yourself better and take the right step for yourself. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now, opening up, my friend, opening up to any Q&A, anything that you may have, any query that you may have, anything that I can help you out with, I'll be more than happy to really support you in the best possible way. We at Fintime, as I said, you know, we are the official learning partner with Becker also. We help students in terms of pursuing their USCP journey in the best possible way. We are the, uh, you know, we are the business partner with various, various, you know, uh, business schools also in terms of, you know, uh, helping their students do, you know, pursue their CPA journey. We'll be more than happy to help you also in case you are really looking forward to. As I said, the intent is that you, we should be, we should be guiding you in the best possible way in your CPA journey to become a qualified CPA as soon as possible. Because CPA wala to, hit ta. Yes, my friend, you are right uh, that CPA, that uh, the discipline exams would be quarterly. You cannot, cannot give it any time like what you're, you know, giving right now at this point in time. You're right on that. It'll be first month of every quarter. Anything, guys, anybody has in mind? No, I, I'm happy to help and chat on. Hello, sir. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, sir, I would uh, please request you to explain the last uh, point once again. Like, wherein, uh, you know, we will be having the new window open from 1st of January. So, I just want you to please elaborate that once again. For sure. Can I know your good name, please? Sir, so my name is Vanshika. All right. Hi, Vanshika. So, Vanshika, the context that I'm trying to give over here is that there are many students who would have cleared at least one or two or three exams by now till 31st of December 2023. Let's say, let's say Vanshika has given two exams till 31st December 2023 and she may have three months left, four months left in that 18 months window because you also have 18 months window, right? From the first exam, everything should have been cleared in 18 months. Now, irrespective of when you have cleared the exam, if you still have some months onto your window and you have not, uh, you have not, you know, uh, you have not, you are not done with your window and you still have some time as on 31st of December to clear the remaining exams, which is like remaining two exams, you would get fresh 18 months to clear those 18 exams as on 1st January 2024. There is a fresh window that is being available to all the candidates to clear the remaining exams from 1st January onwards. Thank you. Anybody else, guys, anything that you have in your mind, please speak up. This session is for you, my friend. We as Fintram, we really want you to excel and, of course, know anything and everything in relation to US EPA so that you can really be the go-getter for yourself. Help me to help you. Tell me if there is anything that we can really resolve for you. This was a very important session that was really requested, you know, from various students around the world. So we really wanted to have this, you know, one for you. Anybody, anything that you have in your mind? 
You can chat also, you can unmute and of course you can talk through. Akriti, Amadeep, Amit, Harshita, Priya, Ritika, anybody, you know, I just, I'm just naming, you know, just to make sure that, you know, you're not missing any of you guys. Anything that I can help you out with, guys, I still have, no, I don't have time now, but still will be happy to spend two more minutes on that. Anybody has anything or we wrap this up? Alrighty, if you don't have anything, I have given the number of, you know, of course, FinTram over here. You can reach out to us. There is a website detail also being available. The email ID is also being available. You can reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to help you out. The number is also being given. My own WhatsApp number is also being shown over here. You can reach out to me and we'll be more than happy to chat out and, of course, help you in your CPA journey. We as FinTram, as I said, you know, we are the official partners with Becker also in India and we are helping students in terms of, you know, pursuing their US CPA journey and, of course, excelling in the in the CPA as at large. Do not, do not, do not think that changes that are happening in the evolution are really going to be impacting you badly. There is a lot to learn from it. There is no major change as such. And that is how you should be thinking about it. And if there is any confusion, message us. We'll be happy to help you. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now, that's what I wanted to cover here, my friend. I really want to wish you all the very best. And of course, thanks for joining in. I hope this video was well, you know, did add it some value to you. If yes, then of course, do press the like button and subscribe to our channel, FinTram Global, and we'll be happy to help you in your CPA journey. Because CPA bole to, FinTram. Thank you.